everybody. Welcome to another Sunday convoy with uh, Re uh, Recon C500 and goggles. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we were at Hell Creek Ranch, which uh, previewed pretty good in uh, Saturday's video. So it's um, the terrain changed a bit, but we'll we'll see that uh, soon enough. You can see over here in this hill to the east, it's a little different, and uh, a few other little things here and there, but it won't be long before it's out, right, uh, Recon? Yes, sir. All right. So uh, we're headed. we got a long trip ahead of us, and we'll talk about it on the way here. But it's going to be a two-part video because we're going long haul here with these girls. And uh, we're going to just stop halfway through. And uh, Oh, uh, Recon, did you get the distance on this trip? Yeah, 882. 882. So around 400. We'll start thinking about doing the halfway on the video. So we'll keep an eye on that. So, um, yeah, let's... Um, and spark them up and i think buffy's uh leading off right yeah buffy's driving today all righty well, let's uh roll out and for you folks in canada it's 1400 kilometers <laughs> yeah just thought i'd throw that in there there you go gotta keep both sides of the border happy there you go oh i got my parking brake on oh yeah it is heavy load Oh, I got to get my tablet here started up, my uh, info screen. Well, he's not wasting any time out in front. Is he gone? It's like a bullet. That's Buffy. He's got a heavy yeah, foot. Buffy yeah, yeah. Um, um, she's only doing 35. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, 3,500. <laughs> Oh, guys, you know what? I got good and bad news. Uh, you know how I've been getting lost a lot lately? On convoy. Well, I got a... Good news is I got a map on the seat beside me. But the bad news is it's Sissels and uh, it's a European map. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to help us. So yeah, where we're doing, guys, is uh, we're going to, where are we going, Clovis or Tucumcari? Uh, Lamar. Oh, Lamar. Yeah, we're going to Lamar, Colorado. That's right. Got three loads of fat cattle heading down to the feed lot. Yeah, there we go, fat cattle. They're fat, all right. 68,789 pounds per. Well, the old ranch is going to be raking it in here. And, uh, so these skins, uh, this skin I brought, I put it out on Friday for the, uh, for the, um, SCS 389. Pretty close to the same skin. Biggest difference is the, uh, fuel tanks. Uh, on the um, SCS truck, had to have a smaller steer head because the straps and couldn't put the calf and cow on the on the ends of the tank. So that's on the back of the cab, and that same skin. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, we got uh, Hell Creek on the uh, sign uh, light box on the trailer. Each and every one of us. Yep, looking good. Yep. Oh dang, Buffy wants to stop at the 7-Eleven already. Oh, she needs some Red Bull? Yeah. Oh boy. Man, I can see doing this down to Texas. Oh, I can't wait. I don't know man, how many of the viewers saw the uh, live stream, but boy, when they... Uh, I can't remember where he left from when he went to Del Rio. Man, that was a drive that I'd like to take 
and I'm gonna take a good one to do in convoy too. You see that big um, sort of canyon area in that river thing they crossed? Oh, uh, was it with all the, the cliffs first? in the uh, second, load. second load? Yeah, with all that. Uh, yeah. Where is that? Uh, I, I didn't actually make it that far. Oh, okay. I'm so surprised to see all that. We going left here? Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, am I too far out in front here? Oh, Grant. If we see a uh, service station, we're going to have to stop. <laughs> You've got you no... Are you playing something? <laughs> yeah, you got, you got no taillights on your trailer. Got no taillights. <laughs> They're optional. Oh, I put them all on. You That's sure? Right. He's, the middle, he's the middle truck. <laughs> oh, it might be a sink thing, yeah. It doesn't give you an option for much. Oh, okay, I thought... Oh, maybe that's a different truck. Well, I, I'll get up there and have a look. I, did, I didn't see any taillights on it. Well, what a beautiful day. Oh, I sure hope they run that road from, uh, what is it, 385 from Lamar down through the Oklahoma Panhandle in yeah. Texas. Sure makes sense. So I got the impression from, okay, so when we were watching the live stream the other day, they kept teasing the M button, you know, the map. Keep saying, oh, we can't show the map, you know, and got the M button disabled on their keyboards and all this stuff. They're goofing around. And, uh, or maybe they did, I don't know. But then the uh, one of the developers, map maker, head guy or something, can't remember his name, he jumped on the stream at one point. He wasn't talking, he was just uh, texting with them or whatever. And they were gonna bypass Dallas because they were given five pre-canned routes, you know, that they could take. And neither the Alex or what was that dude's name with the N or whatever? Numero. Numero. They hadn't been on any of them, so it was all fresh. And they were going to bypass Dallas on the third uh, trip, but the guy said, no, take this ramp, turn, take this ramp. And you could see their course he was trying to follow on his map. And so he turned and went through Dallas, through the freeway through Dallas, so you could see the buildings. So the, the dude... Uh, had map making dude kind of overrid that, keeping that secret. That was kind of neat. But what they did tease is that they're going to have that map button working on the next uh, live stream. So when we see that map view, we'll be able to see if they got that road going out the top of Texas to through the Panhandle. Yeah, they, they they always do that. They won't they won't show the map until the last minute. Right. Well, if they're going to show that on Monday, maybe we're getting to last minute. I would think if it was going to be next week, there would be YouTube videos about this weekend, but maybe not. Maybe they'll wait until next week. There's a home shop. So, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any taillights on Grant's truck. I'm trying to fly incognito. <laughs> oh, it's not working in this flashy truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you see uh, taillights on Darren? Um, or recons? I'm not up there just yet. Oh, yikes. Uh, why yeah. don't you have lights? You got side lights. And can I see recon lights? The hey, recon, put on your left. Up boys weren't doing a good job this yeah. time. Put on the, yeah your left signal. There it is. Yeah, you got lights. Maybe. You don't see any signals. No, not at the back. You got no lights. It's not that they aren't turning on. They just aren't there. That's weird. I think that I think you got us. Well, I don't know. 
I can't remember. I was uh, configuring a cattle trailer at some point today. Said you had to put the lights on. I don't remember if it was this one or not. Yeah, it's this one. Oh, okay. We stopped hmm. down here at the halfway point. Stop at a service center. So this, uh, oh man, this dude behind me is honking his horn. You better be careful, yeah, my, uh... my truck might slip into reverse. Yeah, be careful, I'll do that one more time and I'm going to be in reverse. There's a van ahead of me, so. Yeah, no, I see him. Uh, I'm glued to your bumper, Grant. Oh, I was still yellow when I got into the intersection. I think we're good. So I take it this Colton Thompson guy, he's from Iowa. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he must be. You got Iowa plates on here. On the back of the trailers. I'll have a little look at this skin while I'm stuck at the light here. So the game for, or the, I'm not going to put a uh, unit number on the one that's going in the game and Steam. It's just going to be uh, like you're the only driver on the ranch, I guess. I kind of put these names on it just for the convoy. The uh, SCS truck doesn't have a unit number or name on the door. good on fuel uh i should be i topped up let's see where's the fuel I gauge full tank. <laughs> for now <laughs> <laughs> oh there it is yeah i'm okay i got uh seven eighths of a tank Yeah, I hadn't, uh, the other day, it was, um, I was putzing around on my own. It was the first time I ever drove under here, under this bridge in this end of town. So oh, here's, really? Yeah, here's the second time. It's kind of neat, I like this little bit here. Wow, frame rate's way down right here. I wonder why that is. Really low. Would the frame rates get low because we're getting far apart? Because they were way higher earlier. Could be. Are you out of render view? I think you are. There you go. Oh, uh, there. I can see you guys up ahead, I think. I'll, I'll watch and see if the frame rates come up. Because we started out at the ranch at like 100. Yeah, pretty low. Oh well, this is kind of like what uh, a lot of folks or their uh, frame rate would be. Could be all the traffic spawning in or something. Oh uh, yeah, it could be. Although when I first noticed it, I was on that street back there with the trees down both sides just after the railway underpass. And uh, it was pretty low right there. Oh, what's going on here? Is that guy parked in the middle of the road? 
so we're going halfway across this rotary, right? Yep. Heading south. All right. Oh, two of them. Oh, hold on there, Bucko. I'm in the traffic circle. Well, I can see you guys now. Oh, look at all this tra uh, equipment on the side of the road. Nice job, Recon. That's yeah, uh, thanks to darkness and Cinepatoro. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to those guys for their uh, mod making and kind of keeping us in the loop of what they're doing all the time. It's nice of them. Well, you in particular. I'm, not, I'm just kind of on the periphery watching. Uh, frame rates are up now to just under 80. They're All right, has anybody got a... What's uh, going on? What's Buffy doing there? Ah, uh, she's asleep at the wheel. Oh, man. Get that little Go foot of hers. Yeah, that little size Go. six. Better give it a shove. <laughs> doing the head, Bob. Oh. oh. And her Red Bull. She'll be okay. There you go. Oh yeah, now our frame rates are up into the 90s. Uh-oh. Losing Grant. I mean, uh, sorry, C500. There's a coyote crossing the road. Oh, okay. Is that what you tell the EOT all the time? <laughs> yeah. It's usually We're a deer. Officer, there was no coyote yeah. there. Yeah, it was a, it said one of the dang deer. Antelope. Lots of antelope here in Alberta. When you're out in the rural areas, the east of oh, uh, yeah. the east half of Alberta, southeast. All, all over eastern Montana. Yeah. Hey, Recon, do they have any jackalope down here? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like to know the crossbreeding on those, eh? Yeah. So, uh, do you ever uh, run across a, a herd of antelope when you're driving in your truck? It's, in the game or in real no, life? No, in real life. Oh, yeah, they're all over Montana. Jeez, I had a bunch of them once. I, can't, I was on a gravel road, uh, eastern. You know, they, they, in, like, Grant, you know, I guess... Recon, they must have the same thing in Montana, where they have these special areas. I think it's a geographical area. It's called a special area because there's no, not enough people. There's no towns. There's nothing, so it doesn't have a government. So they just call it a special area, and then the federal government takes care of it. And it's just like highways go through it and everything, but there's no services. There's no buildings. There's no nothing for a long ways. Anyway. I was taking a load out to uh, um, a new um, pump station they were building for a pipeline out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, there's gravel road and I'm driving along and I'm looking up ahead. It had these uh, pretty nice fences on each side but big broad ditches. So it's like one of those well-made government gravel roads that they didn't spare any expense. Obviously because the contractor was milking them, right? <laughs> So anyway, I, it's barbed wire though. It's not um, page wire. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I'm driving along and I see up ahead this herd of antelope on the road. I heard there's nine of them. And uh, I'm thinking, oh yeah, well, I'm making a lot of noise. I'm coming down this gravel road at a rate of knots. And they'll get the idea and start moving. And I'm getting closer and closer. I'm starting to worry that they're not going to move. I'm going to have to slow down or go around them. All of a sudden they take off and they start running, but by now, like I got in 
right down to about 40 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour. By the time they're going full tilt, I'm right on their butts, and they're right in front of the truck, and they're humsucking her away. But they're not running to the side, they're running straight down the road. And there's a big wide ditch on each side, the fences are way over there, and they're choosing to run in front of me down the road, and the truck is getting pummeled with gravel, and I got a little irritated, and I'm honking horn at them and everything, and not much is working, so he went like that for about a quarter of a mile. And then finally, like as if on a single, four of them went to the right and five of them went to the left. And their antelope, you think they'd go soaring over those fences? Nope. Every last one of them went right between the strands of the barbed wire. Can you believe it? It was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Never can't imagine. Like I, like I kind of. I was just shocked, like, as you always imagine antelopes, and they're so, you know, they're kind of graceful, and they flutter around, like, you know, they weigh three pounds, like, they're really agile, and nope, they never got a foot off the ground. Huh, I got the red light. Okay. Is that normal, like, for those, or what, like? Um, I get a green light. Yeah, I gotta just pull in behind him. I got a green as well, but I'll I'll uh, I'll, sh I'll I'll shield your bumper there, Grant. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, C five hundred. How tall was the fence? The fence was only about uh, five and a half feet, five feet. It was like I think oh, four okay. four strands of barbed wire. It wasn't. Yeah, it, it wasn't like it was a. Um, what do you call it? A uh, uh, wildlife fence. It wasn't one of those that's meant to control wildlife. It was. Uh, yeah, I was really surprised. I have seen them. I've even seen uh, white tails go through. Really? Yeah. Fence, so. yeah. At a high rate of speed. <laughs> you know what the the wackiest thing I ever saw was. Uh, you know where Fort Saskatchewan is, right? At northeast of Edmonton? Yep. Had a buddy had a place out that way. They were out, out of his place and sitting there having a few beers out on the deck. And uh, there's, uh, it's out in the country. And uh, there's uh, fields all around, kind of just like what we're looking at here. And uh, we look off in the distance and, you know, the field, like, I guess one second field away. And they weren't big fields, it wasn't like, you know, they were just uh, pasture-sized fields. There's a moose running along through the field. And uh, if you ever see a moose run, they're kind of interesting because they don't go lump up and down like a, there's no up and down, they glide, you know. And uh, this moose is gliding across the field. We're going, oh man, what the heck's he gonna do now? He's stuck in that field. He gets to the fence and the thing went over it like a steeplechase horse. <laughs> it was amazing. And there's, oh, I believe it. I, yeah, there's something you think is going to run through the fence. Uh, yeah. Goofy Moose, I was, uh, I think it was my the last trip I took to Alaska. I was coming back, just got into northern BC, uh, south of Watson Lake. Oh, yeah, okay. And there's, I don't know how much snow on the ground, just a ton of snow. And I'm cruising down through there in the middle of the night, and something caught my vision. I look over to my left, and here's a moose. I'm probably doing, I don't know, I can't remember quite how fast I was going, but I was, you know, I wasn't going fast because of the roads. But he was, sure enough, going through six foot of snow, right, keeping pace with me. Oh, man, that's wild. Yeah, I've seen a lot of moose in the winter up here. Especially going to, like if you're going up to Kitimat or wherever, or Smithers up through that way. Um, man. And at night, eh, the first one you ever see on the trip, like your heart kind of goes through your mouth, eh? First one you see, you kind of, uh-oh, moose, and you start to 
kind of take the edge off the speed a little bit and start watching for them. They're big buggers. I remember uh, staying in, uh, I was up there over Christmas one year. I had five, five drops. And I had, uh, I dumped one off the day before Christmas Eve because I made it back up to Anchorage that night, got a hotel room for a couple days and I'm taking my stuff out of the truck and I mean downtown and I turn around, lock the truck, grab my bag, turn back around and there's a moose. <laughs> Oh, what was that uh, show on TV? Was it Northern Exposure? Or what was that show? They used to have a moose walking down the street at the beginning credits. I think yep. that was what was. It was Northern Exposure? Yep. Yeah, that was a funny show. Yeah, that's wild, eh? Right in town. When I uh, was a kid living back east, like in uh, east of Ottawa, kind of between Ottawa and Montreal in the farm country there, there was, um, in the cities, like, okay, so I don't know if you've ever been back there, but they have the, in the summer, black flies, like these, the, the Indians call them noceums, because there's these teeny little black flies that they get in your hair and everything, and they bite your scalp around the back of your neck and they're just the most irritating thing in the world. They make mosquitoes look like a walk in the park. And um, they get in the bush, of course. They're, they're not, they're not going to be hanging around your house. They're out in the bush or when you go to the lake or wherever. And um, they drive the moose out of the bush sometimes when they get bad. And the moose will follow the uh, railway lines into town to just get away from them. So next thing you know, in the cities, like Ottawa or Montreal, you'll end up with, you know, there's a report in the paper and you see the picture on the news of them lifting a moose out of somebody's swimming pool with a crane. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's crazy. But they, they get driven out by the bugs. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Imagine if you got a vinyl liner pool, that's the end of that liner. Oh yeah, no kidding. Well, what happened to the pool? <laughs> Buffy gets home, <laughs> wants to go swimming or something. Do you have your friends over again? <laughs> Nice drive down uh, out of Jordan down here. Yeah, this is beautiful. Man. And the nice thing is, uh, like, this is a nice long stretch of country with uh, and on two lane. I wonder if. Uh, Darkness turned down the spawn rate. He must it have. Like I'm seeing that. Oh, there's the first one. Is that the? Is that the first quad track? Oh, and there's the, the, the 9RT. But yeah, we haven't been uh, getting. Uh, haven't seen too many of them. So in about a hundred and. 60 miles, so what we're going to do, uh, viewers, is uh, going to just uh, stop the recording and then I'll start it again, and that'll be the end of part one and the beginning of part two. You'll see uh, if you got to have to tune back in to see if we make it. See if the DOT thinks we'll grant having no taillights. Boy. Well, we'll get that fixed in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, if we see, uh, let's see, how's the fuel consumption going? I'm at, uh, I got uh, three quarters. 
Yeah, that's about where I'm at. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna have to stop for fuel on this trip. I was just thinking we'd get service and fuel. Get Grant some taillights. I keep running up on the back of them. <laughs> I don't see the brake lights. It's kind of funny you miss it. I'll have a look at the map, see where we are. Oh, yeah, we're just going to go around Gillette. Were you going to uh, just uh, reset and head for uh, up to Sterling or cut across on 34? Um, I Right now I have it set to uh, go down to Denver. Oh, and go over to uh, Lyman and go down the two lane that way. Okay. All right. I think it's Lyman, yeah. Oops. Come on. No, I think even when I'm in uh, playing single player, I'm in a giant convoy. I just love being able to bring up the map. Oh, yeah, when you're driving. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice feature. I wonder why they... Well, maybe that's going to be something they're going to throw in sooner or later. Thunderstower. Yeah. Phew. You know, and uh, Barb and I went across the uh, Wyoming years ago. I was sure surprised how barren and sort of desolate that north of Wyoming could be in places. You know, there just wasn't a lot going on. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing going on. Doing back there, 56. You get lost yet? <laughs> nope. Nope. Got a little, uh, a little double between uh, C500 and I. Oh, we're turning off here. Okay. Yeah, 
I wanted to trade this in for a W900. She said, no <laughs> way in hell. <laughs> no way in hell creek. And you still let her ride with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you be careful there, uh, C5, because uh, Recon will send her back and ride with you for a little bit. He'll kick her out on the side of the road and I'll just keep driving right past. Oh, I don't know. You probably have a way to lure you in. Yeah, so there was another 9RT. Oh, here comes some more. What do we got here? Quad, Quad track. track. Yeah. Was that a Challenger going around the corner up ahead? I think so, yeah. Huh. Man, they have done such a great job upgrading all the billboards. They look so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not using real advertising in this, right? We're using uh, proper place names and stuff. Uh, I don't know about that. I can't remember. If we're, we're not using... Yeah, it's Bushnell's over there in the side of that truck. Yeah, the billboards and signage is all base game. Yeah, there's a Challenger there. There's uh What's coming the other way across the intersection there, C5? That is a step deck with a 7R. Okay, that's the first one of those. Uh-oh, that light's red. 7R slick looking green. <laughs> so, default uh, step deck. Wouldn't be going to Welker, that's for sure. No. <laughs> Oh, 5-0 is eyeballing me. Uh-oh. I don't know if you guys are, you guys not old enough for Hawaii 5-0, that, the original TV show? Or the that original with, uh, uh, what was Jack, his name? Jack Lord. Yeah, yep. Yeah up on that show oh yeah me too i used to get a kick out of the beginning it was the best well i mean the venture song or hawaii fire the music was awesome but that uh we got the uh, cam fong is chin ho and zulu is kono <laughs> i just used to drive me i used to just man i had a whole comedy routine going around that when i was a kid <laughs> uh. And they're always uh, fighting or trying to counter the evil of Wo Fat. <laughs> it's a bad guy. Sorry yeah. about that, CW. I didn't see you sneaking up behind that truck. No worries. No worries. I just gave him a little love tap, that's all. Man, we got, uh, I got uh, three or four guys between us now. I uh, got a tarp side or two, two tarp sides and a flat deck with a 9R on it. Oh, that's a low boy, I guess. Yeah, I like that the uh, gamer, one of the guys on our Discord did the uh, uh, tarp side for um, Montana Express for Bart's. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. So gamer, if you're watching, it's Friday. As we're doing this in uh, Friday evening, and uh, I just haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but I'm gonna, and I, I'll try and bundle it in with my uh, my chassis mods that I have for that. I can make it all in one little custom customer file, and we can put it on our Discord. Well, all three of those trucks just turned off. Oh, two of them. One of them didn't. I don't even see you back there. Yeah, I'm pretty far back. Well, I see you. You guys are on the map. I can see on my uh, map at uh, second zoom. 
Okay, now this guy is, what's he doing? He's is signaling. There, is there something we should know about Buffy right now? Or uh, I'm, I'm, all over the map what, what, recon? What, what's the traffic doing here, guys? I'm coming around these. I'm passing on uh, a double. Nothing. Okay. I just passed, nothing coming. just passed on a double. <laughs> We're on a monitor channel. Yeah. <laughs> ah, turn on my headlights, that might be an idea. Oh. Now, what have we got between us? Grain trailer? Looks like a grain trailer and a body job or something. Oh, nice sunset in the mirror. Gotta look back at that. Holy moly, look at that picture. Beautiful. Wow. Holy man, where, where were you going there, Recon? Oh, I was looking at the sunset. <laughs> what, what happened? As he drives into oncoming traffic. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, Mr. DOT, I, I don't know what happened, how my truck and trailer ended up upside down. <laughs> I was, I was driving once on the uh, Trans-Canada Highway in uh, Saskatchewan, heading east. And uh, it was back, uh, it was still a two-lane section, like you remember, it's all four-lane now. But there's, it, it, it's not that long ago that it was four-lane all the way. Anyway, back then, I guess some guy was coming the other way as, uh, with his truck, it was a, like a... 53 foot van and it was conventional don't remember what I think it might have been a W900 and um, it was before Cascadia's and all that stuff and uh, if it wasn't a Peterbilt it was a W900 back then it seemed well there were a few Max here and there but anyway what happened was I see this truck a trailer in the field off to my right and uh, it's a nice looking truck, a trailer from a distance, you know. Nice red, red matching trailer, chrome trim, good looking setup. And that's my first impression. And uh, as I get up there, it's, so it's pointing slightly. So if I'm going east, it's pointing southeast in the field, about 200 feet into the field. I'm thinking, oh, well, you must be out there doing something, helping a farm or whatever, some kind of weird load. I get up closer, and the back doors are all shook open and at skew. And I start looking as I get closer, and every panel and every thing that could open on the truck was open. Every uh, sleeper door, every luggage compartment, everything was shook loose. The doors were open on the truck. The, the exhaust pipes were all askew, like one point in one way, one the other. And the guy had was coming towards, heading west, heading towards me. And I could see the tracks in the ditch where he crossed my lane, the, probably well before I got there. But he crossed my lane and then the, went through the ditch going west on the right side of the road and hit an approach into that field. So he hit the approach at a rate of knots. It took the front axle off and put the front axle under the fuel tanks. And, and he ended up out in that field a couple hundred feet, almost going back the way he came from. But it was still upright, but I'd never seen anything so shook apart in my life. But uh, it was funny, like, the closer I got to it, the worse and worse it looked, you know. Like, from a distance, it looked completely normal, and then but that it was upright, you know? That was amazing. But yeah, I just nodded off, middle of the day. Should have stopped and had a siesta somewhere. Uh, saved himself a lot of money. And probably saved his job. Yeah, that too, unless well, it was his own truck. But it was his own truck, whoever he was working for. Oh, he probably would have had to lease a truck to keep in business till he got something under him again. What a mess, man.
Oh, I gotta keep an eye on the mileage. So in another, um, are we gonna just drive through the night or are we gonna stop and? We can fast forward time uh, when we stop up here. Okay, well what we're gonna do is uh, in about um, 30 miles, I'm gonna, maybe even 20, 30 miles, I'm gonna make it a halfway point in the video. There's a rest area slash fuel stop right up the road here. Oh, okay, well let's uh, pop in there. We can do it that way. Is there service there? Um, nope. Well, that's kind of far off the road, that one. Want to keep going? Or? Yeah, let's keep going. We'll see what happens if there's a spot with the service. We'll get Grant some taillights. RFT C500. Dang. Uh, there keep probably going, won't be any service until we get to Cheyenne. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, then we, have, far, I guess. then we have to leave the highway. Oh, we'll just go uh, another uh, few miles here and then we'll just uh, kind of go radio silent while we uh, end one video and start the next one. So I want to uh, just remind all the viewers, I've, uh, in yesterday's video I put a link to the Discord in there. And oh, what's happening? Oh, Stop it. <laughs> oh, now he gets in the left lane and gasses on it. Do we got to get in the left lane here? No, no, you're good. good. He took off. Okay. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I just want to remind the viewers we got a um, link to the Discord. So, good stuff happening in there. And uh, all kinds of things going on at the moment. And, um, yeah, I just want to thank you for watching and stay tuned for part two. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.